Hi, I'm Josh Evelsizer, and today I'm going to show you how to add a custom search engine for any website to Chrome. Super easy. Let's get started. First, we're going to do whatever the instructions here tell us, which is to navigate to Chrome settings. So options, settings, and we'll come back here. What's next? Search engine, site search, edit search engine. So search engine, edit search engine, manage search engines and site search right there, and then site search. So we're going to uh, talk about how to add a Google Drive search engine, which is already here. So what's next? Select search engine to edit. All right, what's this one right here? We're gonna go ahead and edit it. <laughs> Uh, Google Drive and first we're gonna do a search in Google Drive the website results that we are after right we're search we're seeking to get a website with results that's our end result that's our goal that we're after here so we're gonna open Drive and we're gonna search Kindle Atomic just for fun how are you doing <laughs> all right and we hit enter all we're after right now is the URL and the results not really the results even it's the URL answer up here so you can see that is highlighted right there right up here alright so we can see this is already created for us but we're gonna rebuild it here just for fun so we've copied the results up here so control A selects everything right um, or quick check on learning control L highlights everything very easily control C I'm grabbing this whole string of of characters the URL and I'm gonna hit control V and paste it over here you can see it changed a little bit right I brought all the results right here and then this these instructions right here tell us URL with percent s in place of query percent s in place of query all right so let's find the query well here we see the word search and that's cluing us in we're close question mark q equals so if i was a betting man everything after equals is your search query results so url with percent s in place of that query so right there everything that's highlighted we're going to replace it with percent s so here we go percent s and then we save it and you can see here it was recognized so we're probably on the right path well once we've completed creating this custom search engine let's test it so drive spacebar and you see there it turned into a blue search Google Drive that tells us this is gonna work and so we'll go ahead and just do Kindle and it was gonna try and do that for me Kindle Atomic enter and we're gonna see that the results are from Google Drive which is what we were seeking a website with results right and you can see that I've searched Google Drive right here and there are the results uh, that match exactly these results over here when I did it manually if you will so that's how we create a custom search engine I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that I didn't forget anything important so examine the URL to find the keyword so it's not always search sometimes it's query and when I create two more of these you'll see that there's a different example hopefully uh, look for the equal sign which we did we talked about that and replace everything after it with a percent s most likely it's not always the same you sometimes got to add a little bit of critical thought or maybe some testing so update keyboard shortcut as desired is the last step I talked about hitting the space bar to uh, enable the search right so what do I mean by that so control L I don't want to do that. I want to open a new one here. So drive spacebar. The spacebar creates that, right? It makes it happen. So drive, and then I can use the tab button as well. Same thing makes it happen. So what I'm sharing with you here is this keyboard shortcut. It can be the space or tab or just tab. So whatever your preference. Uh, I use the spacebar, so I leave this one selected. All right what else do we need to talk about to make sure you understand all these instructions space or tab tab create a new search engine so we're gonna do that and I'm gonna use Gmail first so remember to create a new search engine of course we take ourselves to the right settings uh, click add and now we're gonna go ahead and create a Gmail search engine so Gmail the shortcut for me will be Gmail 
uh, leave out the caps so it's easier. Now it wants that URL with search results. So we're going to go to my Gmail and I'm going to search for, I'll just search Atomic Habits. I could search anything, it doesn't even matter. So here's the results. I grab the results from up top from the Omnibox. Control C is a copy. I move over here, I do a paste. Now, again, we're going to replace the query with percent %s. So where is the query, right? That's we got to figure out. Uh, it looks like what I searched, Atomic Habits, is right there. So I'm guessing everything before that needs to stay, and this just needs to be replaced with percent %s. So percent. S. When I click add, you can see here it recognized Gmail, so we're probably on the right track. And to test it, we're just going to do use the keyword Gmail space. Ooh, search Gmail tells us we did the right thing. All right, Atomic Habits, hit enter, and we're going to get all the same results that we just had over in our first search right here. <laughs> This should equal this. There we go. We'll do one more search engine just for fun. That was Control W to close that tab, by the way. All right. What was the other one I wanted to do? Pocket. So if you have an offline reader, maybe you want to pull up an article real quick without having to open the website. So we're going to go ahead and how we do this. So we need to. Mm, go to my reading. I should have had this ready, huh? So we'll just go ahead and pocket. Probably recognize it. There we go. So we're in pocket. Wait for the site to load. We'll do a quick search. So there's the search button. Uh, atomic. We'll stay on the same theme here. All right, we got our results from up here. Copied. And we're going to move over here, and we don't have this built yet, so we're going to add it. And this is going to be my pocket search engine. The shortcut's going to be pocket, and here's the results. All I got to do is look for the the query results, right? So query and equal sign. This one followed the rules very nicely. So obviously we just replaced this as we've done with percent %s. Hit enter. Oh, look at that. It recognized it. Probably good to go. So we can type pocket, spacebar, search pocket. It's working. Atomic habits. A few results, and we'll be on our way. There it is. Works nicely. Um, what else did I want to share with you? Oh, there's some other examples of things you might want to search. Calendar, Instapaper, Evernote. Um, I have another video coming up that'll tell you why uh, you should do this and explain how you can do it even faster. Uh, hopefully this was helpful for you. And as always, uh, if it was helpful, uh, please hit the subscribe button, hit the share button, and uh, leave questions in the comments. Leave a good one, leave a good question, and I'll definitely make a video response. Uh, and please remember in the description, this outline exists along with how to reach me online. Uh, that's all I got for you. Hope this video was helpful. Have a great day.